All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Hope y'all had a good day of trading. Uh, I actually did not trade today. I'm waiting on my accounts, uh, so I'll be back in the game next week, uh, you know, ready to go. Until then, just kind of looking at the market, looking and seeing what is going on, um, just trying to get a good idea and, uh, you know, put a good story together for what I think is happening, give you guys this analysis. So what we'll do, uh, have Microsoft pulled up. Oh, before I get into this, I want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I definitely don't take that for granted. Um, you know, this YouTube journey, man, is, is definitely interesting. Uh, definitely not a, a easy journey to say the least. Um, you know, it's just something I think you just have to keep doing. Stay consistent. And, uh, you know, I think eventually you'll you'll get to where you want to go. But thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Really appreciate that. Don't take it for granted. Also, uh, Apex Trader Funding. I am trading with these guys. Um, I am using their uh, platform to try to make money for myself. I wish I would have had this when I first started out trading. So, guys, if you are starting out trading, I definitely recommend getting into uh, some kind of prop firm uh, trading system where they give you money and then you trade with their money. Um, not as easy as it sounds, but definitely I think it is better than starting off with your own money. So, um, yeah, with that being said, the link is in the bio. If you want to check that out, you also get a discount with that, uh, by clicking the link. It is an affiliate link. So, you know, it does help the channel out. If you guys do decide to sign up, you know, do me a favor and, you know, hit that link for your boy, man. Thank y'all very much. All right, let's get into the analysis. We'll start off with the uh, with Microsoft. We'll go into the market and then we'll end it with Tesla. Uh, just kind of saying where I think Tesla's going to go. I'm not going to be able to record a video tomorrow, so I'm recording it today. Just want to say that. All right, let's get into Microsoft. All right, so I want to get into Microsoft because Microsoft is a big player in the market, if you've been following the markets for any length of time, you know, uh, like stocks like Microsoft and Apple, these stocks have really uh, have a really good influence on the market. And a lot of times they can influence the market just single handedly by themselves. So I want to get into Microsoft and kind of talk about what happened uh, after earnings came out. We saw uh, a nice push up. Uh, then I think I, I'm, I didn't listen to the call. I didn't even look at numbers, but I can just tell you we probably we saw a nice push up. Initially, the the uh, the sentiment was good. And I'm, I'm assuming that when they started giving some guidance, I'm assuming that 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 didn't go well. And that we can see this drop here is big old red candle. Right. And then we kind of dropped more into, um, you know, the after hours going into the open on yesterday. But. What I think is very, very interesting about this um, is how we hit the low of like around 230, 230-ish area, but we bounced. We bounced from 230 all the way to, let's say, 240. So that's a $10 uh, move. We actually went higher than that, but we came and we closed at about 240. So that's a $10 move, which is not really normal for Microsoft. From my uh, experience, Microsoft kind of moves, you know, three, four dollars, five dollars, maybe something like that. But but not ten, right? That's a pretty that's a pretty big move for Microsoft. All right, then we go into today and we see we we push up over you know overnight we push up all the way to about two forty three, and then we close uh, at about two forty seven today right so what i want to say about this is that if i go back before earnings we closed at about 242 well yesterday we closed at 240 so we didn't quite close you know at the same price as before earnings but we got really close considering how much we dropped Right. So what what are you saying, Jim? What is that? What are you what are you bringing this up for? I'm bringing this up because that is that is basically showing that even though we had bad or, you know, the sentiment was was bad for Microsoft. Uh, it's still it's still pushed. It still pushed up. It still has um, strength. Right. It still pushed up. Microsoft still has strength and almost like the earnings don't really matter. You know, it's just what it's what it seems what it seems like. And then today we got an, another push up 
uh, from about, let's say, 243 to uh, 248. I'll just tell you it's 248. So that's about a $5 move. So, um, and then we are above where we closed before earnings, which is good. I'm spending a lot of time on this just because I want to let you guys know uh, or show you guys that this is strength. You know, essentially, I'm going to get a tool going. Essentially, this entire move here, this is showing really, really good strength. Okay. And so, what did that mean for the market? Um, so, if I go to the market, we kind of see, see a similar thing happen in the market. Um, we got this gap down, right? This was this was like the same, I think the same time that earnings came up from Microsoft. Gap this down, and then you can see what happened. Look at all the green candles, guys, all the way up to today. All the way up to today. You see, you see this this price action here? This is strength. This is strength in the market. Um, also, what I'm excited about, I mean, if I if I kind of zoom out here, let me zoom out a little bit. Maybe that's too much. All right. So I'm zooming out. You see this red macro trend line? Um, that's been there. I've had that for, for months now. Um, it was very important for us to break out of this trend line and to hold in order to, you know, really say that we are reversing this bear trend. And if you look and see, we broke out here. We broke out, uh, consolidated a little bit here, and then we dropped down. But we recovered. And that is super important. And you know, guys, what that says to me, even before I said what it says to me, I have this blue line drawn out here. If you guys watched the video, I think uh, maybe not last video, but the video before last, I talked about this blue line here and how I think it, I thought it was very important for us to break, not only break this blue line, but also hold this blue line. And so we actually didn't hold it, uh, I think, before Microsoft earnings. We, we actually got down, but we recovered and we recovered gloriously. And so now I believe that we are ready to continue this move higher. Uh, we probably will get a pullback at some point, uh, <clears throat> some point soon, excuse me. But um, we are definitely reversing the bear trend, guys. And I, I feel even more confident to even say it today than I did uh, a few days ago. Barring nothing catastrophic happens, we are definitely reversing the bear trend now what does that mean for our stock tesla i said all of that to say um pretty much the same thing uh i, I do want to just kind of zoom in and just get a little closer picture of what happened today um just so we can understand one thing i don't like i'll say one the one thing that i do not like about tesla at this point um i don't like this i don't like this gap right here i don't like it I don't like it because it means that, you know, it's not too far away from where we are. Uh, means that there's a good possibility that we will come back and fill this gap before taking high before going higher. Um, I have some lines drawn out. What I'll do is delete this one. Not as important, <clears throat> but this one here, this red line here, this is where we opened up today. Right. So we opened up today, had a nice drop. Fell, tried to push back up, fell again, tried to push back up, fell again, fell below the ADMA, which was scary. Then we pushed right above it and we held, we held, we held. Um, and I'm on a 30 minute. I don't know. I, I, I like to be on a one hour, but we'll stay on a 30 minute for now. Um, but we held this ADMA, you know, all the way until the after hours. You can see we're still kind of holding this ADMA. Very important for us to stay on top of this ADMA if we're going to continue higher. What I do want to say is this red line here, uh, this is a resistance level here. It's pretty strong. It's 160. Um, we tried to break it. We closed above it um, before the market closed. We, we I was happy to see us close above 160. Uh, and after hours, you look, you can see we're kind of falling beneath it. Not very good. Don't want to see that. But um, still hopeful that maybe we can get a continuation. Um, maybe we can get that continuation. If not, uh, we will probably see uh, a drop, guys. We'll probably see a, a pullback here. And I do think it's just a pullback. I, I think it'll just be a pullback. I don't think it'll be a reversal. Uh, not really. I, I'm not really happy to see it because I know, you know, we not ideally we will want we want us to just keep going up. But, you know, it's just not really, you know, uh, it's not how these things go, right? So 
it, it's possible if we do not hold above this ADMA, we will end up, you know, falling back down. And I think possibly even filling, filling this gap here before, uh, you know, going back up. And uh, so long as we stay above our 200 SMA down here, I think we still are good to continue going up. Uh, and I think we still will. I just think that, you know, Tesla may be uh, ready for a pullback now. Um, hopefully not tomorrow. Hopefully not tomorrow. But maybe going into next week. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe we the pullback starts tomorrow. Hopefully not again. Uh, but maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe we can get another push up. We got to get above 160, though. If we get above 160, I think we'll be okay. Uh, but right now, we are definitely struggling at 160. Um, and so that's kind of... You know, if, if, you, if you say, where do I see us going? I kind of hate to say this, but I, I think I see us pulling back some and uh, before before uh, taking off. And I hope I'm wrong. I really hope that tomorrow this thing just pumps. But I, I believe that we pumped a lot already. And I just, I, you know, just using common sense. Sometimes you don't have to even do technicals like you just. If you've been in the market long enough, you, you kind of can get a feel for certain things and. Tesla may be a little overextended. I don't know what the shorts are right now. Uh, short interest is, um, but <clears throat> you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, my 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 kind of my my thing is that I think Tesla may pull back some. We may even go fill the gap, which is a good thing. We need to fill the gap in order to go higher. Um, and I think we pull back. Maybe we fill the gap, and then we try to make our way back up. Uh, maybe not tomorrow in one day. Maybe you know it might take us another week or so to kind of get back up, uh, maybe a few days to get back up to 160, maybe even a week to get back up to 160. I don't know what the what the volume would be like, but uh, I do think we will eventually push back up. So, guys, just be careful. I feel like I'm talking a long time now, <laughs> uh, but just be careful in these 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 Tesla streets. Um, you know, we, we're, we're, in, we're in some pretty dangerous territory. Um, if you are going to play some shorts, I think, you know, it might be a good 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 idea at this point. Um, just make sure to keep your stop loss kind of tight. Um, if you are playing, you know, longs, uh, also keep your stops, your stops tight, man. Um, anything can kind of happen right now. Anything can kind of happen. So, uh, but my opinion, like I said, I think we drop a little bit and then I think we, we uh, I think we pull back. The lowest I think we could pull back maybe is to this uh 140 138 to 140 area if we get a really sharp pullback we probably go lower than this gap where this gap is and maybe come even down to this zone anywhere from i would say we could possibly pull back anywhere from this area here like you know maybe jump drop all the way somewhere here before going back up you know so hopefully that's not the case hopefully we can get a short a short pullback at this gap and then continue up but if not i think sharp pullback that's where we go all right guys i'm rambling i'm talking a lot uh thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it if you made it this far man just subscribe like you might as well and uh you know also comment let me know what you want to see if you like these videos cool if you want to see some other type of videos um <clears throat> let me know um, in the comments. I appreciate you guys. And um, till next time. Peace.